Come on, let's start out all of our child support segment with uh, 50 and his son. Well, that was his son saying that $6,700 a month is not, en- yeah, it's not enough to do nothing. Uh, for that, I think the internet flamed him up a little bit. They did. They did. Um, that's a lot. All 50 did was post the scene from Power. Yeah, he's wild. <laughs> When uh when when, when Kanan killed Sean yeah and he said no uh, caption no needed. caption needed damn yeah. and then his son replied with well since all of y'all think sixty seven hundred is so much he spelled out the word entitled in money and he said since all of y'all think sixty seven hundred is so much uh tell him tell my dad that I will pay sixty seven hundred uh for him to come and spend some time with me. I dropped a little thug tear. Yeah. Now that's that speaks volumes. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could which 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 way you want? Any way you want. Any way you <sighs> want to go. I think in, in in watching the video with him talking about the sixty seven hundred dollars, he just seems misinformed. You get what I'm saying? He just seems like a kid. How old is he? Nineteen? <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think he's roughly around nineteen, twenty. Mm-hmm. Um, he just seems misinformed. He's devaluing what sixty seven hundred dollars is. Right, he asked homeboy, "Yo, what could you do with sixty seven hundred? He's twenty five. Oh, oh, damn! <laughs> that nigga's a man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a grown, grown. But sixty seven hundred dollars, dog, to most of America is more than what they make. Mm-hmm. And you talk, money. and he's not paying taxes on the sixty seven hundred. He don't pay taxes on child support. Fuck no. So what he said? So basically, you talking about eighty grand? That's a hundred and twenty thousand dollar job." Nigga, that's, doctors make that. Some doctors make that. Mm-hmm. Some attorneys make that. That take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you talking about seven thousand dollars a month? Seven thousand yeah. dollars a month is a lot, it's of, a money. lot of money. It is. And you saying it like it's trash? Well, yeah, because what some of them were reminding him was child support is supposed to be a mutual thing. Yeah, dad's half. So you yeah. take that and you add another seven. And he, and he kept he kept <laughs> slipping that jab. He kept slipping the jab because well, he's like, yo, well, that's your father's portion. What about the portion from your mother? Well, that's where my focus is, right? Because you're absolutely right about everything you're saying that he said. But he's getting that download from somewhere. Sure. And that's the part that sure. I don't want to overlook. Sure. So whatever feelings he has about the child support, um, about his dad, mm-hmm. The why you're here, why you're not here, the mm-hmm. ill feelings that he has towards his dad. I'm not saying it's mm-hmm. it's all from somewhere, but we've seen this before, where a large part of that is coming probably from mom, a third party. And if that's coming from mom, and I, I'm I'm not arguing anything in this. I'm just having a conversation. Yeah, we just talking. Yeah, we just talking. And if a large part of that is coming from mom, and we ain't had the best relationship. And you taking pictures with uh, the dude's son who tried to kill me. And we just don't have a relationship and maybe never had one. I don't know. I can't speak on it. And you're 25 now. This is going to sound harsh. But does a dad ever have the right to say, Yo, I don't want nothing to do with you? Actually, that's the thing. It's called disowning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't got to tense up. Come on, we talking. I'm, I'm not, not tensing up. That, 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 I'm just that, listening. That, that's the thing. Just listening and thinking. That's the, it's not it's not covered too much. But listen, let me tell you, I've been on plenty of therapy, couple therapy shows where my problems were the least of the worries in the house. Mm-hmm. There were some people in there that ain't seen their fathers in 30, 40, and 50 years. Never met. My dad, I don't know what's going on. My dad, he got a new family. Is he alive? Is he not alive? And the therapist was going out to find these dads. And one by one, she'd bring dads in. Mm. And most of the time, it ended with the dad saying, Dog, I don't give a fuck about nothing, nothing that you're talking about. Like, your mom did a- XYZ. This is the position that I was in. I left. Nobody made an attempt to do nothing the same way. I didn't make an attempt. I started a new family. I'm over here, and you grown. That's it. And le- and the fathers would be out. <laughs> mm. And then I'd have to look at that person crying, breaking down, because you don't understand how, yeah. how somebody could say something like that. Mm-hmm. But it's real. So 
Though I can't imagine it and I can't picture being in it. Yeah. Um, how do we ha- have a conversation about it? It's it's a it's a deeper conversation. Um, you 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 touched on like four or five different points. Um, one, I think the third party thing is evident. I think that um, he spoke on yo, we talking about Forbes listed, blah, 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 blah. Uh So he talked on that piece almost to say, I think if it was 10 grand, it still wouldn't have been enough. I agree. You get what I'm saying? If it was him getting 10 grand a month, it's still not enough. Mm. I think that um, the piece that you talked about when he said, yo, I'll give him 6,700 to come spend time, that's a megaphone to me. Mm. Same. Yeah. That's the crux of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a megaphone to me. I think that at this particular juncture, you're 25 years old, you don't, you can't navigate your way through this, cause he's borderline celebrity status. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he needs that. Mm-hmm. Your mother can't guide you through that. The niggas in the street can't guide you through that. So the nigga that can really guide you through that, and I don't, I never met Fifty Cent in my life, but every time I I hear him speak, I'm drawn into him mm-hmm. because he got a lot of common sense mm-hmm. and and a, a bunch of other sense. You know what I'm saying? He, he talks on business well. Like I just think that you know, sitting with them niggas is a wealth of information and his son could benefit from that wealth of information. No question. You see what I'm saying? So that might be the, that, that's the cry. Now I want you to respond. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm going to say all this bullshit. I want you to respond so we can have it in the media so now somebody can say, yo, dog, why don't you go sit with him? Mm-hmm. That might be that. That's all he want. See, that's the thing that, that makes it tough for <clears throat> that's me. A, that's like, a hard one. Normally I'm able to speculate or use some foresight or imagine a situation this is one of those where I can't, because I can't imagine. I didn't feel like that when my dad wasn't there and then he came around. I wasn't angry at him, so I can't put myself in the shoes of the kid that's angry at their parent. I feel you on it. Um, I also can't put myself in 50 shoes, because not only could I never see myself doing it, but 50, I believe, to be hardened in a way that I am not. Mm-hmm. because of his experiences mm-hmm. his and life, things that he's gone through. That's true. The people that I have being as hardened as him, I know that they think a bit differently. Mm-hmm. That's true. I can't put my brain in that in that to understand it. So I just try to respect it. No, Joe Biden. Uh, 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 not for daddy.